today on Florida Sport Fishing. Another triple header on here. Come on, you know you want it. There it is. Oh, 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 oh. Grab it, grab it, grab it. Oh! <laughs> he scratched the camera, dude. Get yourself some of that, baby, right there. Big King. Oh, what on? CV Boats presents Florida Sport Fishing Television for the Avid Angler. Powered by Mercury Marine. Oh, there he is, right there, right there. Oh, oh, awesome, dude, that was sick. Oh, another one on, another one on. Oh. Woo. Nice, that's what it's all about right there. Yeah. Oh, look at that, look at that. Florida Sport Fishing is proudly presented by Ghost, boat security, monitoring, and tracking you can count on. Mr. Ice Machines, your outlet for Manitowoc ice machines. Ballyhood Lures, jets, feathers, and chuggers sold rigged and ready to catch fish. PNR Canvas, custom marine canvas, manufacturing, design, and installation. Fishing Pursuits, visit fishingpursuits.com and go fish the planet. Hey guys, welcome to Florida Sport Fishing. We just got set up here. We're slow trolling just north of Boca here. We're in about 180, 190 feet of water. We've got two baits off of our downriggers that we're fishing really deep, down around 80, 100 feet below the surface, which is just a, a great place to present baits this time of the year, late in the summer, when that surface water temperature is really, really warm. We've got a couple additional goggle eyes, some live baits off the tips of our outriggers right up on top, swimming right up on top. You never know, a sailfish, wahoo, potentially a blackfin tuna may come up and crush one of those baits. And we're just working this edge. There's a little bit of a drop off here. Looking for kings, potentially a wahoo if we get lucky. You know, they've got little gauges and we can determine exactly or approximately how deep our bait is below the surface and we can adjust accordingly. If we're reading a lot of fish down at 50, 60 foot, we're gonna bring them up right to that level, right to that strike zone. On the other hand, if we're reading fish down at 80, 100 foot, then we're gonna drop our baits deeper. We've been out here a couple times over the last week and I've caught some really nice fish down deep. So we've got a couple of fish that we just read right there and we literally using this sounder, we can put our cursor right on the fish and determine that those fish are right at about 85 foot. And that's pretty much exactly where our baits are. These low light conditions often will bring game fish closer to the surface where it's not so you know, uh, bright as if it would be on a, on a really sunny morning. So sometimes there's an advantage to cloudy conditions, that's for sure. Well, when storms are prevalent too coming, you know, normally the pressure's dropping and yeah. you know, it gets them a little more acclimated and you know, on the hunt, so to speak. You know? But sometimes them fish, they do, they feel that pressure drop, they know those fronts are coming, they know those storms and hurricanes are coming, and you know, they'll try and just gorge and feed as much as they can prior to that really nasty weather when you know, bait sources and food sources may be, may be scarce. Come on, you know you want it. There it is. Oh, 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 oh. He grabbed it, he grabbed it, he grabbed it. Something ate it. Give it a little. Just got our first fish on here. Our plan paid off. As you can see, we're keeping the boat moving. We're keeping our other baits out there. And the idea is we just hooked one fish. Hopefully we can turn this into a double and double up here. Oh, there he goes. There he goes. Now he's, he's realizing he's hooked. See the line? Give you a little zoom action. Yeah, this one was down deep too. Yeah. This is the deep, deep one, yeah. Another fish on right here. See, again, it paid off exactly the way that we wanted it to. By keeping the baits out, keeping the boat moving forward, keeping our gogs out there, we turned one bite into two bites. Let's just work together here, try and get these fish in. We just turned two fish, Yours is one on top bite, though, right? into two bites, into three bites. But all three fish are coming really close together. Yeah, that's one thing. If you're not on it, when, when they turn and they start coming at you, yep. a lot of people lose them because they don't keep it tight. Oh, he's coming right up. Bonita? Yeah. Well, we just got clobbered. Got a triple header of Bonitas. Wasn't exactly what we were looking for, but a good sign. There's life here. 
You know, these fish are here, these predators are feeding. So hopefully some big king mackerel and wahoo will be mixed in with them. Gonna reset our baits, get them back out as quickly as possible. Are you ready to get hooked up? Florida Sport Fishing Magazine, your number one resource for the latest tips, tricks, tactics, and techniques for inshore and offshore. Only $30 for three years. For immediate home delivery, visit floridasportfishing.com. Enter promo code TV and receive a free shirt and official decal with paid subscription. High performance hulls designed for speed, comfort, and durability. Custom features and accessories designed for every taste. A brilliantly engineered machine designed to catch more fish. Presenting the remarkable lineup from CB Boats. 100, 500, 1000. How much money are you wasting on melted ice and thawed bait? Frigid Rigid keeps ice and bait frozen for 10 days. Built to withstand everyday use, 25 sizes up to 525 quarts means there's a Frigid Rigid cooler, refrigerator, or tackle center just for you. The boat may have burnt down, but the ice and chum stayed frozen. Frigid Rigid, 800 643 1988, or visit frigidrigid.com for a dealer near you. Chaos is tragic. Chaos can be awesome. No, another one on, another oh! one on. Three on, baby. <laughs> With Chaos Fishing, it's your rod, your way. Quality components and personalized service from a legendary builder equal the right rod at the right price every time. Shop online for a complete selection of serious fishing equipment. Or visit Chaos's new superstore and receive a free t-shirt with every rod purchase. Chaos Fishing, gear matters. What if navigating was as simple as touch and go? It is that simple. The world's first multi-touch MFD chart water, Navnet TZ Touch. That one just got hit. Another downrigger okay, just got okay, hit. Okay, okay, okay. Another triple header on here. What did that take? Five minutes? Little king mackerel. That's what we want right there. He is not happy. How'd you like to get your... Oh! <laughs> he scratched the camera, dude. You can see, if you look at those razor sharp teeth, that mouth is just lined with them. That's why we fish wire leader. We're fishing titanium wire leaders. They will just chomp through monofilament in a second. Just cruises through the water, sees a bait, rushes off, <laughs> picks it off, and that is the end of that bait. I'm gonna switch it up a little bit. Give them a little variety. We're gonna put a uh, rig ballyhoo down on the Islander. Just again, a great tactic, that skirted lure. May it be a, a ballyhood, an Islander. What it does is it creates a larger profile so that bait looks bigger, number one. And it also protects the bait from washing out as quickly. So it's got a couple of different, uh, couple of different benefits. There sound you effects, go. you want some sound effects? Nice. There you go. So you just missed yeah. that fish and just caught one. Or maybe maybe tight. the brother came by and just, whack, I gotta eat. Just so you can get a little taste. Again, same thing. By keeping the boat moving forward, boom. Picked Had our up. baits out there, picked off another one. Yeah. Tell you, we came out here looking for some action and we certainly found it. Yeah. No, that's a nice king, dude. Yeah, it's a nice king. king. This one hit a surface bait, a gog, right up off the tip of the outrigger up on top. Again, we're in about 180, 200 feet outside of Boca. Look at the colors on them. They make beautiful fish dip. Yep. There we go. That's what we're looking for right there. That one's got some shoulders. Come on, big fella. I'm going to try and let you go here. 
Look at that mouth. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's a good one. That's a good one, dude. That is a good one. How about that one? Look at the shoulders on them. There you go. That's the kind of fish that we're looking for right there. Yep. Big king, big king mackerel. On a live gog, 200 feet off Boca. Just an awesome, awesome fish. Look at the coloration, that dark olive gray on top. That fish just perfectly, perfectly blends into its surroundings. You couldn't see that fish coming if you were a prey item. The belly, silver. So again, if a fish is below this hunter, never sees it coming from the top or the bottom. It's a perfect predator. Get yourself some of that baby right there. Big King. Pros Tip, brought to you by Diamond Fishing Products, the most reliable monofilament and braided fishing line in the world. You know, I'm a stickler for avoiding tackle failure and angler failure. Those two factors result in 90% of the lost fish. I mean, who out there has ever lost a fish due to a bad knot, a bad connection, improperly set drag? You know, uh, it's happened to all of us. You had a nick in your line, you thought you can get away with it for one more bite, one more fish, and then you get a quality fish on and pop, gone. So I think it's real important that you spend that extra minute to just double check your tackle every time. Every time you put a bait out, check your drag. Feel that line, make sure that there's no nicks in that line. Prior to every trip, we're, we're always checking our reels, putting on a fresh top shot of line if the line is uh, messed up or braided in any way. You know, we really take all of the necessary measures to avoid losing quality fish from factors that could have easily been avoided. And that, that applies inshore, offshore, I don't care what fish you're targeting, you know, these same factors come into play. So spend that extra time. Pro's Tip, brought to you by Diamond Fishing Products, the most reliable monofilament and braided fishing line in the world. Florida Sport Fishing is proudly presented by Sea Sucker. Mount anything, anywhere with no tools and no holes. Saltwater Assassin Lures, soft plastic go-to baits for every fish in every venue. New Ice, maximize cooler performance with New Ice eco-friendly freezer packs. Skeleton Fish, wearable art. Select your trophy and receive free shipping at skeletonfish.com. Crystal Reels, power and versatility. Setting the standard with all-in-one electric fishing reels. Bionic Bait is the largest ballyhoo producer in the world, serving anglers for 25 years. We offer 100 varieties of bait for every type of saltwater fishing. Bionic Ballyhoo are exclusively caught and brined aboard our own boats in the Florida Keys. Within 24 hours, they're vacuum packed, flash frozen, and shipped in our own fleet of freezer trucks. Dedicated to excellent customer service, no one works harder to ensure your baits produce. Whether you're after a fresh fish dinner or a tournament winning marlin, fish prefer Bionic Bait. Yachtlights.com, everything marine lighting. Interior and exterior, Yachtlights.com has it all at the lowest prices. Stylish recessed lights, LED strips, floodlights and deck lights, and the hottest underwater lights from as low as $199. Shop online for free shipping and weekly clearance items or visit our new showroom. When you need marine lighting, you need Yachtlights.com. Tired of outrageous markups? Stingray Fishing Outfitters beats all advertised prices with specials on the finest tournament winning tackle, accessories and outdoor apparel operated by knowledgeable anglers with everything you need for freshwater and saltwater fishing under one roof, ready for immediate delivery. Save big. Shop where the pros shop. Shop at StingrayTackle.com. The secret's out. Start with brine and bite, the only brine that infuses proven bite stimulants into any rigged bait. Procure badass bait dyes are next, and bring ballyhoo to life with vibrant fluorescent colors. Seal the deal with Procure's new bloody tuna oil and watch your catch ratio soar. Inshore and offshore, Procure bait scents and badass bait dyes keep you hooked up. Find Procure at your favorite dealer or call 800-PROCURE for a free catalog. As you can see, that Z-Wing replaces that heavy lead ball. Really light, just a few pounds. Acts like a wing. It'll just dig in. It's got a weighted nose. And that's coming right up to our downrigger line. 
which I've got braid on. I've modified my downriggers a little bit. And we've got a release clip right to the swivel. So as I slowly ease that in the water, as you can see, it's got a nice spread right there. We've got our wing right in the water, our Z wing. Our line is going right up to that release clip right there. And I'm slowly gonna deploy that Z wing down to the depth that I'd like while the reel is in free spool with the clicker on. There it goes. Just, yeah. dude, you literally just put it down. Popped out of the clip, boom. Boom. I saw it, yeah. Right away. Yeah. Another fish on a deep bait here, 100 feet down. This pattern is just continuing here this morning. Looks like he's got some shoulders. There you go. We got them coming now. And we're fishing double rigged, medium sized ballyhoo from Bionic Bait. Pre rigged, okay? I mean, just real simple. Buy them right off the shelf. They're brine, they're ready to go, and they catch fish, no question. But sometimes these kings, they'll come in from the side, they'll crush a bait right from the side. And oftentimes you'll just kind of maneuver around that bait a weird way and they get foul hooked. We were using our chart plotter, just like we talked about earlier, to focus on that same area where we've been getting these bites this morning, following our track and boom, hooked up again. He just got that bait down there, about 100 feet down on the down rigger. Literally. Literally, and Literally. it popped right out of the rigger. Oh boy. Get a little bit closer. There we go. Almost got me. Look at them hooks buried right in his forehead. See, he came after the bait, missed it with his mouth somehow. Just a typical South Florida king mackerel. This one's about eight to 10 pounds. Very likely a male. The females are often larger. And just a staple of the Florida fishery. King mackerel are caught around the entire state. A really, really popular game fish. They can be caught during the day, they can be caught at night. Variety of tackle, everything from really light spinning gear, even fly rods, all the way up to some heavier conventional outfits. They can be caught on the surface, they can be caught down deep, like we were catching them today down 100 feet below the surface. Found relatively close to shore and up to 200, 250 feet of water. But a very popular fish, perfect for anglers of all skill levels, all ages, really sporty fish. They pull drag, they fight hard, they'll skyrocket on kite baits, make some really exciting. We're gonna throw this guy on ice, reel up our deep baits, switch it up a little bit, maybe go hit a couple wrecks, see if we can bend some rods with some vertical jigs and uh, see how the rest of this morning comes together. Stick around, let's see if we can get hooked up. Marine Electronics, brought to you by Pelagic, high performance offshore gear. You know, a lot of guys don't really use their electronics to their full advantage, and I think it's really, really important, regardless of what sort of equipment you have on your boat, if you've got a multifunction display, which is a combination chart plotter and fish finder, if you have individual units, you know, just constantly utilizing your equipment to keep tabs on exactly what's happening, you know, below the boat, around you. We're using our sounder to mark fish, to look for structure. We're constantly monitoring the depth, looking for readings, adjusting our baits accordingly. And then on our other screen, on our nav net, we've got our chart plotter with our fishing chart loaded. And I've got a track and I'm just constantly tracking everywhere the boat goes is leaving that little trail and I know exactly where we get those bites and I'm able to just run right over that same area again. And this applies regardless if you're fishing inshore or offshore, use your equipment, learn how to use it. Don't just get this stuff on your boat and you know, not know how to use all of the bells and whistles and all of the features that this equipment offers. Use it to its full capacity. It'll really help you become a better angler and a more successful angler. Marine Electronics, brought to you by Pelagic, high performance offshore gear. Florida Sport Fishing is proudly presented by Daiwa Reels, advancing the sport of fishing. Tropic Trailer, Florida's largest dealer has the right trailer at the right price. Rodan, precision GPS guided trolling motors. Fortress Marine Anchors, stronger, 
faster, lighter. Closed captioning provided by BoatInsuranceFlorida.com. Save 50%. Scent Blazer is changing fishing forever. This revolutionary new trolling lure looks, sounds, smells, tastes, and swims like a real fish. The advantage is in the patented detachable bait chamber, loaded with bait weights, lights, rattles, and more. As it's trolled, water enters the lure and passes over the bait inside, leaving a trail of scent and bait pieces behind. Get more strikes, get more fish, get Scent Blazer. For more information and to find your nearest retailer, visit scentblazer.com. Right now we're burning about 8.5. I can't do this on Miami. We're burning about 27.3 uh, an hour for full throttle. It's extremely impressive. Burning 29 dollars an hour. I'd be burning close to 40 with my Yamaha. Dude, I'm speechless. To discover the Verado difference, find a local dealer at mercurymarine.com slash Verado. Then take a test drive and experience it for yourself. It's unbelievable. So we just set up pretty popular wreck here. A runner? Yeah. Just goes to show you, and everything will eat those jigs. Yeah, on the way down, and it couldn't even jig, <laughs> and it, it got eaten. So there's some life down there. And they're, they're stacked up on the machine. Same thing, just drop this jig down, and this wreck is just loaded with life. He just got a runner. This looks like a little Bonita. Just slam that vertical jig. And that's the thing about this fish, and it's just about being able to fool these predators on just a funny piece of metal. I've noticed too, sometimes they get a little more frantic when you, like a stop and go retrieve, quick, quick short pumps, you know? I think, you know, everybody's got their- Like that? Oh, <laughs> See? Yeah, just everybody's like that. got their rhythm. Just like that. I stop and boom. Most of the times you get the bite on the drop too. The trick is to just keep it moving. You know, that jig yeah. has, to, has to be moving. If that piece of metal is just sitting in the water, nothing's gonna touch it. These are all predators that are swimming around that wreck. All sorts of life. Let's get a little up current of it here, and then we're gonna drift right over it. Great thing about vertical jigging, it's a great alternative. It's always a good idea to have a couple rods, a couple spinners rigged with vertical jigs. You never know when fish are gonna pop up, busting up on the surface, a jig will work. Or if you go over some structure, a jig will work. Even sometimes we'll be live bait fishing in a tournament. We may have, you know, six gogs dangling off kites and a bunch of flat line live baits, and I'll still drop down a vertical jig. And surprisingly, sometimes that's the rod that'll get crushed. All of these wrecks are easily identifiable on fishing charts. And there are artificial reef systems around the entire state, and they're all clearly marked, so could easily find some wrecks to jig on, regardless of where you are. There it is. There he is. Yeah. Cuban Wiggle does it again. Yeah. They're looking for action. It's a great way to there find it. There's a little jack. There's a lot of these different jack species that all look really similar. You've got greater amberjack, you've got lesser amberjack, banded rudderfish, and they all look really, really similar. Broad bodies, that brown band right across the head like that. Cool fish. Big AJ, eat one of them baits like, like that. Like that? Like, yeah, just like that? Just like okay. that. You ready to connect again? I shouldn't even be fishing. Carla should just fish. I might as well just put my rod away. Yeah, no wiggle. Gotta, gotta move it. In the right direction, man. Hopefully they have their mouths open, you know, as it's dropping. So it's like ready to go. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Like that. I just had a bite. Stop it. Move, 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 move. What, what are you doing? What are you doing? Where are you going? Here. Current's moving us. There, ah. Oh my <laughs> god! <laughs> oh my god, it's gotta be the jig. <laughs> it's gotta be the jig. Oh, that's great. That's a good one there. That's got some shoulders. No, maybe I just fouled them. I'm giving them too much credit. Told you, Carlos, the yeah. jig captain, Carlos, the jig master, Rodriguez, Montoya, whatever. I don't even know how many names he's got. Hey, keep your fish away from my line, pal. Oh, he's already in there, bro. No, he's not. No? Okay. Look at that. You want to see a tail whip? That's, that's a tail a whip tail right whip. there, buddy. 
doesn't get more of a tail whip like that. You want to see a tail whip? I didn't have to explain it. There it is right there, proof in the pudding. Okay? They miss it, their tail catches the lure. That's what it is. Another one of the jack species down here. Not big, but you know, it's fun. Keeps it, keeps it active, keeps the rods bent. See, at least this, it's pretty consistent fishing. I mean, you're always not gonna catch the, the wahoo or the, you know, or the snapper or the grouper on the jigs, but the opportunity's there, you know, and you just gotta keep, keep going at it and jig away, get jiggy with it, you know? Nothing wrong with getting jiggy with it. You don't know what's gonna bite, but it's, it's pretty, uh, pretty productive technique. You might want to tighten up that drag just in case That's you do little. hook something good, you know? Then you're in the donkey house, man. Otherwise, forget it. There it is. It is a black a little black fin tuna. Look at that. Little football. Hey, now. Little black fin tuna on the jig. Yeah. This is why they call them footballs, as you can see. Shaped just like a football. Perfectly streamlined. Those fins just fold in and that thing just rockets through the water. Oh. Hey. Oh. Watch out. Ho oh ho. To learn more about the tactics and techniques seen on today's show, and to subscribe to Florida Sport Fishing Magazine, Visit FloridaSportFishing.com and get hooked up.